Hello guys, this is Bunny Rabbit Place. We're starting at a different place right now. Hopefully you guys like it. What was that just now? That masked freak? I finally found you. I won't let you get away from me. Oh yeah, guys, we were in danger last time. <laughs> huh? Wait, Subaru? Subaru, what's wrong? Melee, get back to the inn right now. There's someone here I don't want you to see. Rem, I'll need your strength. Could you come with me? Wow. Of course, but... Subaru, if something's wrong, I'll come too. Girl, what the heck? No. No, you can't. I can't have him see you. Puck, take care of Melee. Sheesh. You could have given me a heads up. But if it's for Leah's sake, then I'll gladly watch over her. I'm sorry, guys, if you heard that. Leah, let's do as Subaru asked. You too, Puck? No way. Subaru is definitely going to do something extreme. Her name is Leah? Oh, no. <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> okay, her nickname is Leah. So they call her Emilia, then uh, Millie, and then Leah. Okay, I get it now. Now's the time to take extreme action. Sorry, Mili. Miss Amelia, I humbly apologize, but I will keep a close eye on Subaru. Wait! Uh, you can't just do as you please! You're not queen yet. Now, now. Let's just wait for those two to return. I'm sensing something unpleasant in the air. I'm going to give those two a long scolding when they get back. For what? <sighs> <sighs> I know he ran this way. Uh, Subaru, is he the one you're looking for? Why are you chasing him? You died last time, dude. Good job, Rem. That's definitely him. Fortunately, there's nobody else in this alley that will get involved. Okay, so basically you're gonna die. By yourself. <laughs> I mean, with Rem. But I mean, still, you know? Rem, hit him with a surprise attack. A surprise attack? I certainly can, but he... He's an enemy scheming to disrupt the royal selection. If we leave him to his own devices, Emilia will be in danger. No. What's her name is gonna be in danger? What's her name again? I keep forgetting her name, guys. The pink girl. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Rem trusts in you, Subaru. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Her fighting spirit channels into the morning star grasped in her hand. It flies straight toward the masked man's back. Got him! He blocked it. What? He got him? Whoa, come on! Don't joke around like that. You think I'd fall for a pitiful ambush like this? Nah, man, I told you. Uh, Super, run away! Man, y'all about to die. <laughs> I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Rem pushes me away from herself as she screams out. The next instant, a dagger shines for a moment before it's thrust into the spot I was previously standing in. That masked clown had thrown it right as he avoided Rem's attack. Huh? Well, I wondered who was so brave enough to attack me, but I see it's you. You're one big bag of surprises. Do you know us? Isn't that obvious? The Royal Selection! You know that stupid ceremony to find a replacement for the dead king? Just talking about it makes my blood boil. But why? Still, I never thought you'd be so bold picking a fight with me like this. Did you not assume me to be some random passerby? Of course not! Have you looked in a mirror recently? You have no right to get angry for getting questioned in that get-up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you even talking about? I wasn't planning on this, but you running into me here indicates your luck is running dry, kid. I'm gonna turn this unexpected assault into a counterattack of my own. I'm not one to scoff at my own work, after all. <laughs> man. Okay, we're gonna return by death, man. He seems to be quite the capable opponent. 
Please stay back, Subaru. Hell no. Yeah, sure thing. I'm counting on you, Rem. Dude, you're just, you're just gonna watch her die. Yes, you can leave him to me. Rem faces the masked man, clutching her morning star. The man doesn't seem to be intimidated, instead wriggling in delight at her intense gaze. A pretty face. Immense determination, a fragrant smell. I like you, young lady. I'll mess you up with everything I've got. Whoa, well, no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you can stay your butt right where you are. After he shouts this, he lunges at Rem, beginning their battle. <laughs> <laughs> not bad! Not bad at all, little lady! But that will never reach me! Oh no. Rem presses the attack determinately, but the masked freak continues his charlatan routine. The spiked iron ball practically flies, destroying the ground and walls around us. Yet this guy just jumps around, laughing and taunting us with his small attacks in between Rem's. But Rem manages to charge in, knocking away all the daggers in her path. Seeing this, the masked man retreats, dodging under the morning star. They're like a tide ebbing and flowing. A balance that may collapse at any moment given the slightest change. I even stop breathing, thinking it might break the harmony. The battle between the two intensifies, but as both of them dislike this stalemate, they attempt to change things up. But then, huh? What's that? Is someone shouting in town? Mixed in with the clashing of the battle before my eyes is a small scream from nearby. For a moment, I imagine I'm just hearing things. But then I listen in more carefully, and it all becomes clear that scream is definitely coming from someone somewhere. And it's not just one person. What's going on? Oh no, man! What? We're surrounded by chaos. What? <laughs> this is. Guess our time's up. I was really looking forward to playing some more, but I'll have to end it here for today. How unfortunate. So regretful. Ew. <laughs> Ignoring our shock, the man laughs loudly as he turns his back to us. I can tell he's trying to make his escape. I won't let you get away. Nah, girl, just let him go. Okay. <laughs> Rem lunges at him, his back seemingly poised to take the full brunt of her attack, but. <laughs> I kid, I kid, if you're serious about this, you'll just get toyed with, you know, by bad guys like me. <laughs> the moment Rem's attack is about to land, he outmaneuvers the morning star, charging at the maid. He turns the palm toward her. A brief flash of what's to come crosses my mind as I imagine Rem being blown away by his magic. Don't worry, I won't kill you. He likes her too much. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Boy. Boy. Instead, I'm just going to take what I want. What the what does he want? What does he mean by that? After the jester lets out a scream, Rem's strength suddenly leaves her body as she falls to her knees. I have no idea what just happened. Rem! Alright, time to get out of here. No, what the heck? What do you mean? What? I rush to Rem's side, ignoring the masked freak as he jumps away. I shout desperately as I lift her limp body in my arms. Rem! Rem! Wake up! Open your eyes! Super... What just... Rem! Are you okay? Wait, no, don't talk. I'll find a doctor right away. You're pretty slow. Do you really think you have the time for that right now? Can't you hear? Listen, you can hear it, right? Okay, one. Why is everybody screaming? What happened to Rem? Is she okay? <laughs> the masked man spreads his arms and laughs. I can still hear the screams I heard earlier echoing behind him. Something bad is going down. The situation's changed quite a bit, so I'll be taking my leave now. Running away. You coward! Coward? Did you just call me a coward? Do you want to die? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Ca 
<laughs> you really make me laugh. You dare call me a coward? A coward? Well, you've got me there. I am Wolf, the malevolent masked magician. I am the man who caught you in my trap of ill will and hostility. But why? Let's be sure to meet again, folks. That is, if you survive this. Wait! Damn it, he's gone! But the music got calm again? Bro, you need to get your facts straight. <laughs> we are in danger. But in reality, we were the ones in a pinch. He let us go, not the other way around. Wolf, just who or what is he? And what's going on in the town? Subaru, I'm okay now. I can stand up. But can you fight? Don't push yourself, Rem. What did he do to you? I don't know. From what I can sense, it feels like he stole something from within me. Stole something? Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Somewhat. More importantly, we should leave this place. I worry for Miss Amelia. Yeah. We should also tell the guards in town about that masked guy. This is a serious situation we're in. Understood. Rama and I hurriedly make our way out of the alley, but immediately after, we're greeted with something unseemly. Unseemly. <laughs> A side of turmoil that has descended upon the entirety of the royal capital. This is. What the heck is going on, guys? <laughs> what? Has been destroyed. What? The once orderly construct of the royal capital has been desolated. What happened here while we were in that alley? No. This atmosphere, this sensation. Don't tell me. Um. The witch's cult? What? Oh my god. It's the witch's cult. The witch cultist and some guy who seemed to be their leader are blocking the way. I need to regroup with Amelia, but maybe I should calm down and think first. Because of those bastards, my wife and daughter. No, what the heck? We're gonna get revenge, man, for you. <laughs> Subaru, it's the witch cult. Right, but we shouldn't deal with them right now. We need to get to Amelia as soon as possible. To do that, we need to get through here first. Yes, let us figure out how to do so. Okay, I'm gonna stop to think somewhere, but first, oh. I may have Ram with me, but there's just too many witch cultists to deal with. I might need the guards' help. And I should carefully plan our escape route, too. There are too many of those damned cultists. I don't know how long we can hold them off. Oh, man. World map, shopping district. Damn it. How did this happen? We've been patrolling diligently every day. What happens if I talk to them? Oh, I can't. And it doesn't let me go. So, like, I think I... Well... I think I can talk to him. But not this guy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do first. Okay. I'm gonna go to the shopping district to see what, what's going on first. Oh, this is love! Love has brought me Ooh. to you! <laughs> Dude, you're... Oh, no. You need some <laughs> something, man. <laughs> and yet you wish to leave. Of course. Oh, man. He don't let us go. We're gonna die, guys. Return by death time. <laughs> Okay. Oh my, I did not realize someone was still here. Pardon me for not noticing you, but please rest assured. I shall turn you into an offering for the witch, just like the others. Who are you? The demon... I don't know. <laughs> A slender man suddenly appears before us. His glaring guys lock onto mine. Immobilizing me. You wish to know who I am? Oh, 
<laughs> How incredibly rude of me! I completely forgot to introduce myself. So, I shall do so now. I am the Sin Archbishop of the Witch Cult, presiding over Sloth. I am Petalgeus Romane Conti. Yes! You don't get much sunlight, do you? <laughs> Petalgeus Romane Conti. No. More importantly... Every single hair on my body stands on end. It's not due to his creepy mannerisms or crazy personality, but I rather his affiliation. The witch cult! And a sin archbishop at that. You've heard of that title before? What does it mean? They are leaders among the dangerous witch cultists. Sloth is the most famous of them. Oh man. Now, now, now! I have given you my name, so it is time to move on! My fingers have already extended throughout the royal capital, diligently and thoroughly spreading the witch's love throughout the city! I don't think this is love, dude. <laughs> huh? The hell? What are you talking about? What does any of this have to do with love? You did all of this for some stupid delusion of yours? Right? I scream out. That scene we're playing once again in my mind. All the horribly disfigured villagers. For what reason? What purpose were they brutalized like that? Not that any reason given would be forgivable, but... I can't bear this anymore! Not after hearing this psycho's ramblings! And now you're the one trying to raise the royal capital? I'll never forgive you! Subaru, Rem feels the same way. But please, restrain yourself! He's strong, dude. We must regroup with Miss Amelia and save as many people as possible. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's go. Rem desperately tries calming me down, and I just barely managed to hold back my seething rage. If it weren't for her, I would have charged straight at the guy. But Petalgeese is looking right at Rem and me. No, he's looking at me. Then, Could you, by chance, be pride? What? Excuse me? Pride? What? That dense aura of love surrounding you, it far exceeds that of a common believer's. You are loved by the witch. Oh, what the heck? Perhaps you realize it yourself? If so, that is all the more confirmation that you are pride! The last one to fill the empty seat of this generation! Well, no, because you cannot take Amelia. With that, Petalgeus laughs and laughs and laughs. While laughing, he sticks his fingers into his own mouth. What the heck? What? All of a sudden, I hear the dull cracking sound of something breaking. It's hard to believe what I'm seeing, but this guy's breaking his own fingers with his teeth. The bones crack, and I can hear him tearing his own flesh, making me shudder in fear. <gasps> So, so, so much pain! I truly, truly, truly feel the fulfillment of life! What the heck is wrong with this guy? What are you doing? Pain is joy, the proof of life, evidence of one's existence! Ah, it is so truly, truly, truly wonderful! You should understand it too, because you are loved, and thus you must give love in turn. Diligently, and with devotion, with love, 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 love! This is pointless! This guy's insane, man. I realize now that it's no use trying to hold a rational conversation with Pidlogis. The man's crazy, grabbing his head and bleeding from his fingers. So this is the witch cult. You mentioned Amelia earlier. <laughs> what of it? That is the name of the half-devil who should be in the royal capital. It is she who must face our ordeals. No. Half-devil? You mean half-elf? And what do you mean you're gonna put her through an ordeal? What are you planning on doing to her? Go look for her so you can beat his butt together. We must test her! Is she fit to be the vessel? If so, she will be embraced! If not, she will be removed. Everything is done to return the witch's love. What the heck, man? No, no. <laughs> Petalgeese continues shouting about his twisted love. I don't even know where to begin in trying to understand him. 
But one thing for sure, he intends on harming Amelia. I already know that the witch cult is Amelia's enemy, so that makes them my enemy too. Oh, 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 my mind is truly, truly, truly tripped out. Oh my gosh. Looks like he won't let us go that easily. With the capital in such a state, I'm sure the Imperial Knights and even Crusade have been dispatched. Because <laughs> I, I have no words. But the damage done already looks to be pretty significant. I need to make sure Amelia is okay. Rem, let's force our way through and regroup with Amelia. Understood. I will support you all the way, Subaru. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> I'm saying what too much, Sorry, but like. Rem. Really? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Why are you apologizing, Subaru? This wasn't supposed to happen. I should have been able to handle this better. I failed. And this is the result. An entire city. Too many lives have been lost. Everything completely backfired. Just what the hell do I think I'm doing? I don't even know if Amelia is safe. Subaru, please get a hold of yourself. Sorry, Rem, but... I do not know what sort of turmoil you are facing. I would like to understand, but it is hard to do so. But I do know what we must do at this very moment. Berating yourself will not save anyone. Right now we must find Miss Amelia, no? Yeah, I'm really worried about her. We need to regroup with Amelia quickly. So then, what do you think your next move should be, Subaru? Rem... You're right. I can't just do nothing and blame myself right now. Yes. That is the Subaru I know. So what shall we do? Should we make our way to the inn Miss Amelia planned on going to? No. If the witch cult is after her, there's no point heading there. They infiltrated the royal capital from outside the city. So Amelia should be headed toward the center of the city. That is true. Does that mean she will eventually arrive at the royal castle? I think so. That's my best guess, anyway. Even if you have no information to back it up, Rem will trust your decision. Let us head for the royal castle as well. Thanks. But first... We will need to get by that Sin Archbishop, Petal Guse. Yeah. We gotta find a way around him to get to the castle. Understood. Rem will do everything in her power to help you, Subaru. Thanks, Rem. I'm good to go now. Let's figure out how to get through that guy. But I'm pretty useless in combat, and Rem can only take on so many opponents at once by herself. I also have no idea how strong that Sin Archbishop. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I also have no idea how strong that Sin Archbishop Pedogies is either. With a prominent title like that, I think it's safe to say he must be pretty strong. So what can I do? Lucky for us, the guards patrolling the plaza are fighting against the cultists too. Ask them to fight together. To think about this. I'm not gonna say no, never mind. Um, guys, do you guys think they're like, held up together, like, in the castle because then that's even more dangerous they're all in one spot you know but i mean they have crusade so i guess they're safe right <laughs> anyways we're gonna ask them to fight together this time around i don't know <laughs> rim let's help out the guards in the plaza there are just too many cultists to fight on our own you may be incredibly strong but there's a limit to what one person can do on their own Besides, I don't exactly know what that Petal Guse guy is capable of yet. I know you won't go down so easily, but we should be careful. Very well. I will follow your decision, Subaru. So, Rem, we need to figure out a way through the plaza. Do you have any ideas? The shortest possible route would be the most beneficial to us. But we may end up getting surrounded by the witch cultists. That being said, if we try to avoid them as much as we can, it would be quite a detour. You're right. Both have their pros and cons. But no matter which one we choose, we won't be able to avoid that Sin Archbishop. She's right about the shorter path having more cultists along it. 
But even if we choose the other one, it's only got a few cultists defending it for the time being. Who's to say when more of them will show up along the way? Either way, we'll have to end up dealing with that Sin Archbishop. Just how are we gonna get through? Take the shortest path. Damn, what do I do? Guys, I don't want to take the shortest path. I mean, like, there's literally a whole bunch to there. It's gonna be faster to go through the longer one, even with the shorter path, right? Because we're gonna have so much time taken up by fighting the cultists. If we take the longer path, I'm gonna get there faster, right? Unless we die. Which then? <laughs> Oops, you know? Oh, what? It doesn't even let us. Okay, I guess we're gonna die. Alright, I've decided. Let's take the shorter route. Even if we took the one with less enemies, they could just send more cultists after us. It'd be bad if we took the longer route and got swarmed. It may be riskier, but I think we should just rush through the shorter path. Very well, Subaru. Let us take the shorter route. Alright then. Rem, let's... Please wait, Subaru. The plaza splits off to the left and right of the fountain. Oh my goodness. We should decide which way to go first. More toys, man. Good point. It'll be harder to move around if we aren't on the same page. Which way do you think is better, Rem? The right. We could open up the sealed path and secure an escape route if needed. To the right, huh? But it's possible that more enemies could come in from that escape route. Though, the same could be said for our allies. True. Either outcome is possible. I need to figure out whether to take the right or left path, taking that sealed path into consideration. Attack from the right. Attack from the left. I think... We're gonna attack from the right. <laughs> Right? I've decided. I'll trust you. Let's go to the right. Thank you, Subaru. I will do my best to open a path for us. I'm counting on you, Rem. But don't get too reckless. We're both gonna make it back to Amelia. I can't lose you or anyone else along the way. Not to worry, Subaru. You will at least be fine. And Miss Amelia is just as strong herself. Hold on a sec, Rem. Don't go triggering weird flags like that. What does he mean? <laughs> I don't under I don't understand. We're gonna be by Amelia's side. Oh. Together. Guys, we're gonna have to end it off right here. Hopefully we get to Amelia, we save her, and everything's gonna be okay. Okay guys, so good luck, I guess, to us. <laughs> I have a playlist full of uh, this game in my channel and other games as well so if you guys are interested in any of that there's also a playlist on my let's build so there y'all go um please like comment and share if you like please subscribe uh and have a great day bye